Good evening, families. On behalf of the King's Academy, I'd like to welcome you to the JK through first grade Christmas show. We're so thrilled that you've chosen to join us this evening to celebrate the birth of our Savior. Amid the hustle and bustle of Christmas this season, we take this time to reflect on the peace and joy that came into this world so many years ago. We hope you enjoy the precious voices of our youngest lions this evening. And I anticipate you'll see a lot of joyful smiles, some warm voices, and I think we'll get a few giggles out of some of our smallest singers. I'm going to turn the show over to the kids, but before we do that, let's pray. Dear Father, I thank you so much for the gift of your son. I pray that this season we keep our eyes fixed on things eternal as we seek to glorify your name. I pray that we would bless you and bless the hearts of those listening this evening as the voices of our children fill the air with your praises. Create in us pure hearts as we turn our eyes to you. In your name, amen. the best time of the year I don't know if there'll be snow but have a cup of cheer have a holly jolly Christmas and when you walk down the street say hello to friends you know and everyone you meet ho oh, oh, ho the mistletoe hung where you Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas this year Have a holly jolly Christmas It's the best Everyone you meet Oh, oh, the mistletoe Hung where you can see Somebody waits for you Kiss her once for me Have a holly jolly Christmas And in case you didn't hear Oh, by golly, have a holly jolly Christmas This year
Well, hello. Are they not the cutest crowd you have ever seen? <laughs> Well, my name is Summer Hoskins. I have had the privilege of teaching the sixth grade acting class this year, and they're going to be part of this program in just a little bit. Um, I am pleased to present our production of Follow the Star. Our students have been learning about the faith of the Magi and how they followed the star to Jesus. And I am praying that this Christmas season, that just as they found hope in a humble stall, that you're able to find hope and joy in Jesus Christ this year. So please, enjoy. call us wise men. We come from, come from a faraway land in the east. We study a lot. It's just kind of what wise men do. We have always studied scripture, so when the star appeared, we knew something important was happening. The scripture said that God would send a savior, so we had to see if that was true. So we decided to follow that star. The star seemed far away, and we knew our horses wouldn't make it on the long journey across the desert. So instead, we bought some camels to ride. One of the camels we bought was named Sandy. She was so tall and fun to ride. Sometimes when you sit on a camel for a long time, you have a lot to think about. I thought about a lot of things, and I realized that God has a plan for all of this. His plan was for a savior, but it also includes me and includes Sandy the camel. It was part of God's plan that we would see the big bright star and follow it. God has a plan for you too, and you can trust God and know that you are a part of his plan. long journey and we followed that star for about two years. All the prophets writings that we studied said that God would send a savior. Oh how we have waited for the one God has promised to save us. Just like the star shone and showed us the way to Jesus, Jesus will show us the way to God. And just like we followed that star, we will follow the savior, Jesus.
star led us to a city called Jerusalem. We went to see the king of Jerusalem. I think his name is King Herod. Anyway, the king did not know about the new king or the star. He talked with his advisors and said we should look in Bethlehem. So off we went to Bethlehem. Once we found Mary and the child, we knew. We knew God has kept his promise. We bought him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We gave him our gifts, and, and we, we worshipped him. him.
All right, thank you for joining us. If you guys would sit tight, the teachers uh, told me to take a while here. I'm the closer, and I'm giving them time to get back to the classroom. So I said I'm always brief, so uh, I'll just do this for two minutes, and then I'll pray and close this out. At the conclusion of this, you'll go pick them up in the classroom. Several teachers have, you know, things to show, and um, but the students are very excited. As they're walking off, I can still hear them marching off. Let's give them one more round of applause so they can hear it. This is the fourth of eighth programs that we're doing here at our campus, so we're officially at halftime uh, of our Christmas program season. Uh, but we're very excited. As you can see, the students are pumped. Um, in each classroom, they're literally counting down the days um, till Christmas. There's a countdown till Christmas and Christmas break. And I think of that line, uh, we love Christmas. We're listening to a ton of Christmas music in our house. Um, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. And there's that line in the song that mom and dad can hardly wait for school to start again. Um, <laughs> But I know that's not true. We do have an extra long backloaded Christmas break this year. So I know in like January 5th, you'll wonder when does school start. Well, we're back to school on January 10th, so we do have an extra long break after. Um, I heard someone say once that in parenting, the days are long, but the years are fast. And I can tell you that's true. I have a seven-year-old, a 12-year-old, and a 14-year-old, and the years fly by. So you have the cutest kids on campus. Everybody thanks to JK first. And kindergarten students are the cutest ones, so please just enjoy this Christmas break with your kiddos. Uh, I just want to encourage you to not lose perspective. You heard that our program is all about Jesus, and that's what Christmas is about. It's about Jesus uh, coming to earth and, and living a perfect life, so I pray that you guys would not lose perspective about that this Christmas season. I'm going to open us in a word, or I'm going to close us in a word of prayer, and then you guys will be able to pick up uh, your children from our classroom. But Merry Christmas, and let's close in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much uh, for sending your Son um, to live a perfect life and then to die for us. I pray that we would not forget that during this Christmas season. I thank you for all the parents and grandparents and aunts and uncles and friends and family members that are here tonight. I pray, Lord, that they would keep you in the focus of what can be a busy, hectic season and realize that we're here to celebrate you, Lord. We give you this uh, night, we give you the remaining days of school. I pray that all these families will have a great break, that they would enjoy every moment of it. We pray all these things in your name, amen. All right, you're dismissed, thank you.